Hi, just a quick video. I was actually talking to my uh, lovely wife this morning, and she mentioned to me, why don't I make a video showing, you know, a lot of you newcomers to guns and ammunition about um, the various cartridges which are available for handguns. So this is what I'm going to do, okay? First of all, I'll just show you a couple of sizes from small to fairly large. This is a little 22. <coughs> Nice and cheap, plentiful. This is a 9mm. This is probably the most uh, prolific used round by everybody when they're learning to shoot. It's a nice round. It's relatively cheap to fire. This next one is a 38 Special. Been, uh, been around for many, many years. And the brother to the 38 Special is actually the 357. So why does one have a hole in the top? The one has a hole because this is called a hollow point, which spreads on impact. Now, just a little bit of a, a little note. These two bullets here, the 357 and the 38, if you have a 357 Magnum, it will also fire the smaller 38, but not the other way around. The 38 will not fire 357. Just a little bit of uh, information for you guys. The next round is a 44 Special. Slightly smaller than its brother, the 44 Magnum, which quite a few years ago was obviously the most powerful handgun in the world. Now again, these can both be fired out of the same gun. The next one, this is a 40 Smith & Wesson round. This will be fired out of a um, you know, semi-automatic handgun. It's a nice round. Again, it's very popular. More expensive than the 9mm. And as you can see, it's um, a fair bit larger, more kick to it. And this one is a full metal jacket, which is basically the, the lead bullet is encased in copper. The next one is a 45 long Colt. This is popular in some of the larger handguns. Now we're starting to get up into the, the very powerful ones. This one is a 454 k sewell, which can be used for hunting. Um, this one is a full metal jacket, and it's also a hollow point. One hell of a bullet. Tremendous kick. Awesome round. Starting to get expensive as well. Now this bad boy... This is a 460 Magnum, full metal jacket. This one, um, again, is a 460 Magnum, which is uh, actually built for the Smith & Wesson 460 handgun, uh, which is a revolver. Now, what I'd like to show you now is actually what a bullet consists of, because a lot of people don't realize what is actually holding the bullet together and now what a bullet is comprised of. So I'm going to show you guys all about it. Okay, this is the 44 Magnum. I didn't pick this one in particular for any reason, it's just the first one which come to, uh, come to hand, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to use a, this is called a kinetic bullet puller. What you do, you stick the bullet in the collet, you stick it in the back of the hammer, screw it on tight, firm hit. It's not firm enough. So this is what we have. You have the case, which as you can see is now empty. So that's one part. On the bottom of the case, you have a primer. Now the primer, I'll show you uh, a brand new case without a primer. 
so you can see the difference. This is a primer fitted. This one is before a primer is fitted. And a primer basically looks like that very small. These are magnum primers for the larger for the larger loads I fire. Now if we tip this out you have the powder or propellant whichever word you prefer to call it and then you have the actual bullet or the projectile. Now this bullet um, should be, if I remember rightly, what they call, you, you've probably seen on, on these boxes when you purchase bullets, or the, the, the guy or the lady will say, this is a 200 grain or 240 grain. A lot of newcomers to, the, to shoot in think that the higher the grain, this actually means it's more gunpowder and a more powerful round. This is totally untrue and very far away from the truth, and I'll explain. When they talk about grain, it's not the amount of gunpowder, it's actually the weight of the, the bullet. And I'll, I'll show you. I'm just going to get my little scale warmed up here. Well, as you can see, this is weighing in at 239.4 grains, which is pretty good, pretty accurate for just a, a total lead-based bullet. You get a little bit more accurate when you use full metal jackets, um, like this one. This is also a 44 Magnum. It's got a half metal jacket on it. It's supposed to be 240. As you can see, it's 240.6. So that basically, um, in a nutshell, it's what grain means when you go to your store to buy some bullets or some cartridges, whatever you want to call them. The, the higher the grain means the heavier the projectile or the bullet, whichever you want to call it. Um, I think... I probably covered everything, as my wife mentioned earlier. There are a few differences to the actual bullets themselves. This is a hollow point full metal jacket, as you can see, it's encased in copper. What a hollow point does, when it hits the object, it spreads and it creates a lot more damage and impact area. And this is a normal flat point. Again, it's just a normal lead round. Um, this one, <laughs> this is 460, got the ballistic tip on it again. Believe it or not, this is a hollow point. Um, so that's it. I hope I've been helpful. Please rate this video. Um, subscribe to all my other shooting videos. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I mean, uh, the only bad question is the one you don't ask. So anyway, all the best to you and ciao for now.